Hey folks, this is Matt Doyle, MLSsoccer.com's armchair analyst, welcoming you back to another edition of Between the Lines. Today we're going to talk about how keepers dominate their box, coming off their line to catch or punch service before it could turn into a dangerous chance. One keeper in the league who's really stood out this year for his ability to do that is rookie Ryan Mira. He comes out quickly and confidently, and that's made him successful thus far. It's not a typical trait of a rookie, but he has 17 catches and 12 punches, both amongst the league leaders. As Taylor Twelman pointed out in New York's 1-0 win over LA last weekend, Mira's ability to do that makes it easier on New York's central defenders, who know that they can just stay tighter on their marks and worry about what's in front of them rather than having to do all the heavy lifting. Mira's there to do that, especially on service from the flanks. As I mentioned before, this is unusual in a young keeper, many of whom rely upon their pure shot-stopping ability and athleticism and are hesitant to come off their line and cut out chances. We saw this a couple of weeks ago from Philly's Zach McMath, an excellent shot-stopper, but he should have punched clear Marvin Chavez's cross that led to Steven Lenhart's stoppage time winner in the Quakes 2-1 victory over Philly. The downside, of course, is that you run the risk of becoming too brave and too aggressive off your line, playing for the cross before it's even hit. A great example is Matt Reese, one of the league's all-time great keepers and someone who's as aggressive playing for the cross as anyone in the world. It usually works out for him, but when going up against heady players who know your tendencies, this can happen. Or this. Or this. Mira hasn't been caught that badly yet, but he did cheat off his post against Montreal and paid the price. The other big risk is coming out for a cross or a through ball and fumbling it, something that can even happen to the best. Here we see Nick Romano gift Chivas USA three points earlier this season. Again, this is something that hasn't happened to Mira yet, but at some point it will, and like Romano, he'll need to have the mental fortitude to bounce back and keep his teams in games going forward. For now though, Mira's ability to get to dangerous service before it becomes a dangerous chance is one of the reasons for New York's recent defensive turnaround. And it's a good reason to suspect he'll have an international future, whether it's here in the US or with Ireland.